Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. I'm Fadlina from Kate. I'm going to share with you a tutorial on how to do backup and restore in Putra Blast. So as you know, we are going to use our new Putra Blast V3. Because of that, many of us would want to restore the content that we have had in our previous semester. Um, I'm going to show to you uh, something that I'm going to take from Blast Art on semester 2, 2018 and 2009. So this is the website and the next step is to log in. So log in as usual. Then scroll to your course. So this is the content that I had in the semester. So to back up, go to your left side. In this in this administration, click on backup. So this is the page. We can choose whatever that we want to backup, but I'll just take the default here and then press next. Again here, you can choose what to export since I don't have anything in the last chapter, so I'm not gonna take this. Then press next. Check back whatever that has been selected. You may want to change your information here. I'll just stick with, uh, stick with that. Then press perform backup. So this page shows the process. Aha! Uh -huh, it's completed. Let's continue. Once you reach to this page, meaning the file is ready. So, you may choose to download. I have downloaded. See you in the next section. Welcome back. So, this is the second part of the backup and restore tutorial. To do this, you, or, you should already have a file being backed up. Then, go to the new Putra Blast V3 page. And then log in. Enter your credentials and press login. And you will see the dashboard of the course assigned to you. I'm gonna demo to restore this using this course. So this is the default. So to backup. Go to the left side. So the page is very familiar to you because it's, this is the same uh, Moodle engine. Then press restore. Here you need to choose the backup file. I'm going to therefore choose the file that I have created, downloaded before. Choose the file, press open and upload and then press restore. In this page, you can check back whatever information that you want to be selected. I'm going to choose everything. So I'm, going, I'm not going to make any change and then press continue and then choose where you want to Restore. In my case, I'm going to get to the file. And then just press next. And then again, then choose all, then just press next. Okay, now we are in step 5 to review. And then perform restore. So now we're in, in process number 6, waiting until completion. And there you go. We have finished to restore one course and everything is there. Voila! Then you need to 
do whatever uh, that you wish. You may uh, see information here hidden from student. In my situation, um, I had chat here. So this is hidden from student because uh, I have set the time for this information to be displayed. Uh, but this is safe to, uh, to be used uh, and I hope this benefits you. Thank you.